What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to try and get to the bottom of one of society's greatest mysteries, back scratching. Everyone loves getting their back scratched. Pretty much everybody grew up with their mom scratching your back when you're watching a TV show. Nowadays, it might turn into your significant other constantly being bothered when you're watching Arrested Development for three hours, please keep scratching my back. Well, regardless of how you found it, we all love a good back tickle. However, for some reason, there don't really seem to be professional establishments that offer what could be the greatest spa service of all time, a professional back scratch. So today, I am putting on my detective hat. Where did you even get that? To find out why we love back scratching so much and to see if I can convince someone to professionally scratch me. I'm sorry, once I bought the hat, I had to go all the way. <laughs> But before we fully dive into some sleuthing, there is a history of back scratching. Massage therapy dates back thousands of years from Egyptian tomb paintings to ancient China. Now, massage therapy is a normal practice in modern society. Studies have shown that scratching actually has similar properties to massage therapy. Scratching the skin causes your brain to release serotonin, which is what your brain produces to regulate anxiety and happiness. Scratching has been linked to relieving muscular pain, reducing stress, relieving fatigue, improving quality of sleep, and is even said to make your blood circulation more efficient. Scratching is also a common behavior found in communities of animals. So there's value in scratching. It doesn't just feel good. And now I'm determined to pay real money to find someone who will scratch my back. Research report from Garrett. For this investigation, I am the research hacker. Do you see this? I'm actually hacking. You need a hat. Now you're a detective. <laughs> Tell us the research report, Garrett. There was a unsuccessful Indiegogo campaign called Scratchilla, which was basically Postmates, but for getting your back scratched. <laughs> so That sounds amazing. You would pull up your phone and you would find back scratchers in your area and uh -huh. they would come to your house and scratch your back. Why did this campaign fail? Because it sounds kind of creepy. <laughs> the second lead, there's a company called Back Scratch Guru in Pennsylvania, and apparently they give a massage back scratch type thing, but they haven't posted anything since 2014 on Facebook, so that is not an option. And lastly, there's a company called Scratcher Girls in Miami. They make very interesting videos. <laughs> They've kind of turned into this like ASMR back scratching thing, but they're in Miami. That's it. I don't really have anywhere for us to go other than maybe trying to get that spa you go to to do it for you. Tikkun? Yeah. So I'm gonna call Tikkun Spa. They have done a lot of really interesting things. Vagina steaming, they have a 24 karat gold mask. I feel like if anywhere on planet Earth it's gonna be like, you know what, we'll figure out what a professional back scratch means, it's gonna be them. Hey Pam, this is Michelle Carre. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Wow, how have you been? I wanted to give you a call because in my research, there's like nowhere in the world that offers a treatment where you can go and get your back professionally scratched, if you will. I was wondering if that was something you guys might be interested in collaborating on, like maybe incorporating elements of like gentle back rubbing or tickling with a massage. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely follow up and then see if maybe um, I can have Vicky talk with you. This is Michelle. an investigative video. Mac, I knew that you would feel left out. So. Oh no. Oh, oh no. I have something for you. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> That's a pair of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Okay, that has nothing to do with what we're here. These guys are so confused. Okay, thank you so much for being here with us today on this very strange adventure. So I noticed you guys have a custom massage. Have you ever been asked by a client to be scratched? Absolutely, um, anytime somebody wants something special, of course we'll accommodate if we can. It doesn't happen very often. If at all, it's mostly in the head. Like a nice relaxing head scratch at the end. It's ingrained in our DNA. We're not the only ones that do it. A lot of animals, primates, dogs, cats, they all groom each other. And I think that what we're getting at delves into the basic of what it is to be human and what it is to be in a social order of working with other people and being around other people. It's very nurturing. I think what we're looking for today 
<laughs> you look so cute. In that. <laughs> I think what we're looking for today is a combination massage and scratch so that we can experience scratching across the body in addition to massage. Also, Mac has never had a massage of oh, any kind. Oh, excellent. Wow. I'm just here for the ride. Yeah. I decided to tag on. I was like, massage. why not? Yeah, exactly. Totally. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I'm glad you're here with us. I don't know what you're doing, but it's great. <laughs> Just warming up. Oh, I felt the scratching. The scratching has begun. <laughs> it's just funny when your whole time in massage school, they teach you not to scratch. <laughs> really? <laughs> Breaking the rules. It's very calming to the nervous system. It feels like a little anteater running its wet nose across my back. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you getting scratches? On my head, yes. The main difference I'm noticing between like asking your mom to scratch your back versus Jesse, the professional masseuse of several years, <laughs> is like the nail placement is very intentional. <laughs> that gave me so many chills. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, down my spine. Doing okay, Mac? Yes, I'm doing great. Yeah, how's your first massage going, Mac? So much is happening right now. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just trying not to moan. <laughs> so that's great. I've never been scratched on my hands. This is so interesting. Michelle, is this close to what you expected? This is about 8 billion times better and more euphoric than I could have ever imagined. Garrett, I wish you could experience this so you could know what being truly scratched feels like. <laughs> <laughs> we went into this, it was all fun and games and sleuth hats. <laughs> this is a game changer. Jesse, I have to ask. Mm -hmm. When I asked you for this service, mm -hmm. is what you're doing to me right now something in your arsenal or did you kind of create something new? I just created something new right now. It feels very well planned. Well, I've been doing this for a long time. In massage school, they do teach you a lot about nerve strokes, these light fingertip mm -hmm. touches, mainly made to affect the nervous system. As we go deep in the muscles, we go too far and then you tense up and push back. It really brings up the sensitivity of a person. It's like whispering to the skin. Are we the weirdest request you've had? Oh God, no. <laughs> <gasps> you answered that pretty fast. <laughs> I do have somebody that wants to spend most of the time just really hard finger pressure on the head, like for like an hour. Yeah. Just straight, like as hard as I can like, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, as hard as I can, like, eagle claw under their head. <laughs> it's like they're going through something. <laughs> I had somebody like that that wanted me to elbow their head the whole time. <laughs> I was like, and he took it. A lot of people come for touch for more than just muscle injuries, aches and pains. It's a way to connect with someone. If somebody's lonely or depressed, anything like that. Massage can be a very powerful tool. And I think it's a way for people to receive. Most people give too much or a lot, especially women, especially mothers. This is an example where you come in and, and you 100% have to receive. It's nice to have the juxtaposition between deep work and the light scratching. Oh my god, yes, foot scratches. Mac looks like a sleeping baby. He looks so peaceful. <laughs> Whatever is happening right now to my toe Scratching. is amazing. A reflexology, a reflexology point? Mm -hmm. What is that? So good. <sighs> I feel amazing. Thank you. I don't even want to get up. <laughs> I think it needs to be a menu item. I'll talk to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was 
incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what massages felt like, and so I'm disappointed in myself that I've never like done it until now. You know, it's been 22 years of my life, not a single massage. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. Thank you. Yeah. For inviting me. That was fun. This was like, oh yeah, like I've driven a car my whole life, and then all of a sudden you drive a Ferrari. It felt mm -hmm. very intentional and real and the pressure was like a deep tissue scratch but not like i have an inch of how to scratch it mm -hmm. it was perfect it was phenomenal <laughs> like i feel light mm -hmm. and usually after a massage i'm pretty tired i feel very like warm and like snug yeah <laughs> <laughs> it feels like i have been cared for mm -hmm. what was your favorite area to be scratched <laughs> so, so, so. area to be scratched <laughs> the arms specifically. My favorite was my feet. And mm -hmm. he did some really intense, like on the top of my feet type stuff. And then he hit reflexology points on the tips of my toes and it like shot up to my head. If you guys at home live in LA and want to get a professional back scratch with the best back scratchers in the world, <laughs> come on down to Tacoon Spa and ask for Curtis or Jesse. This was life changing. I am 100% coming back. This is not sponsored. If you guys enjoyed this really weird video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below with what you want to see next. Also, be sure to subscribe to Mac because Mac is the funniest person I know and his channel is amazing. Just look at him. Just look at him. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Case closed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I also have this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. You didn't see it in my pocket? No. I was so worried you were going to see it. <laughs>